If you're a man and you witness the birth of a child, then you may have Stan Brackage to thank for it. I'm James, and this is the first video in a series called Artist in a Moment, where we break down the lives, careers, and works of a talented creator in just a few minutes. This video is about Stan Brackage. Stan Brackage was an American experimental filmmaker. He was at his most famous in the 60s through to the 80s, but he practiced as a filmmaker for more than five decades in total. Brackage's films are abstract. They have very little narrative, and they focus mostly on creating interesting vignettes or powerful images and exploring concepts and ideas. His films are visually stunning. They're not beautiful, at least not in the way that some experimental films are. They're more striking, almost violent. Brackage's work is tactile. There's a lot of bright reds, or flashing lights, or strange patterns, or quick cuts. These frantic scenes are interspersed with moments of supreme calm. There's texture to his films. I think the texture defines him as an artist. Brackage, or Robert Sanders, was born in Missouri. He was adopted as a baby by the Brackage family and renamed. He was involved in the arts from a young age. He was a boy soprano on the radio, and he was in drama groups at school. He went to the prestigious Dartmouth College on a scholarship, but he dropped out to make movies. He spent his youth bouncing around cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York, rubbing shoulders with great artistic talents of the era. During this time, Brackage was dirt poor and depressed, to the point that he considered suicide. He met Jane Wodening, a talented artist in her own right, and they got married. The birth of their first child marked a turning point in Brackage's life. The birth itself was the subject of one of Brackage's greatest works, a film named Window, Water, Baby, Moving. The film follows Jane's pregnancy and the birth of Brackage's daughter. It's a beautiful but bloody, raw and unfiltered film. Window, Water, Baby, Moving is credited as being a major influence in allowing fathers into the delivery room, which before Brackage was very rare. After Window, Water, Baby, Moving, Brackage's career went into full swing. He made the Dog Star Man cycle, a five-part series which is mostly strange colours and textures on old film, occasionally interspersed with a sudden close-up. He made a series called Songs, which included 23rd Psalm Beach, an anti-Vietnam war film. It's dark. Dark because of the disturbing wartime and religious imagery, but also literally dark. It's very difficult to see what's going on. This is a common theme in Brackage's work. The sudden bursts of light juxtaposed against this darkness creates another level of texture in his films. By the late 60s, Brackage was well known. He started teaching at the University of Chicago and also at the University of Colorado, amongst many others. He made more movies during this time, including The Act of Seeing with One's Own Eyes, which follows an autopsy, and The Text of Light, which is made up entirely of light reflected in a glass ashtray. In 1989, Brackage married his second wife, Marilyn, with whom he had two children. These were in addition to the five that he had with Jane. His experimentation with film and film format continued right up to the end of his life. In 1996, Braggage was diagnosed with bladder cancer. He said the cancer was caused by toxic dyes he'd used to paint directly onto film. Stan Braggage died in 2003. My favourite of Brackage's films is Mufflight. It's only a few minutes long, and I'd encourage you to look it up when you're done with this video. Mufflight was created by sticking the dead bodies of insects to a roll of film. It's a strange piece which I feel captures the aesthetic style of Brackage, while also capturing his strangeness, his devotion to the physical aspects of filmmaking, and the attachment to abstract meaning that he wove into his work. The flashes of light and dark and the haunting flickers of insect corpses make you feel the process of watching acutely. His other films achieve this intense kinetic sensation by having you watch Childbirth or Autopsy, content which I'm not going to show here. But Mothlight exemplifies Braggage's texture in its simplest and most pure form.
Thank you for listening to this episode of Artist in a Moment. Remember, your subscription to the channel would mean the world to me, and have a wonderful day.